Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chloe Moly here again with my sister Courtney. Welcome playing to my Nancy Drew's case, Secret Shadow, Shadow Ranch. Shadow Don't Ranch. interrupt me, Nancy. To start, choose I'm junior doing something. Or senior detective. Okay. <laughs> if you're new to adventure games or need some help. Dear Hannah, no. well, I made it to Shadow Ranch, but I'm afraid all uh, is not we well. We get to listen the to exposition again before we start our adventure. The Rowlings, the people who own the ranch, have been called away on some kind of emergency. They have so, Dave hooray Gregory. for that. That's what I always wanted when... He gave First starting out a game, told me to call the shot someone's butt. <laughs> like that, <laughs> he refused to tell me anything else. Don't you know, Tina? Isn't, isn't that Cowboy Carl? To me the whole ride of the ranch. I was about to What's say, worse, Tina Belcher probably loves that photo. It's very strange, because even though we had to take different <laughs> flights, we figured we'd get into Phoenix <laughs> at about the same time. <laughs> Being here without them feels odd. After all, the Raleigh's are their aunt and uncle, not mine. I wouldn't even be here if Bess and George hadn't begged them to invite me out to the ranch for two weeks, too. Until about Thanks, three months Bess ago, the Rowleys owned How did you a clothing know store. I wanted Bess said yeah, it was always the their dream to again. sell the store and buy a cattle ranch. I hope they're okay, but frankly, as beautiful as Shadow That's Ranch is, music. I'm starting to get a bad feeling it about this It wants to show place. you that it's creepy. Love, Nancy. It almost sounded like, like, like a truck horn or something, like you're about to get hit by a car. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be writing this letter Go ahead and call the Rollies. Oh, yes. Just so that way we don't have to do it later. I'm clicking on you. Thank you. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Raleigh. It's Nancy Drew. Nancy! Are you at the ranch? Yes, and I'm a little concerned that you're not. Is everything all right? Oh, everything's fine. I mean, it is now. It wasn't last night, of course. Everything would have been fine last night if you hadn't made such a fuss. Well, how could I not make a fuss? There was a rattlesnake Everyone in our bedroom for Pete's Rattlesnakes sake. hate when you fight. <laughs> Did you say rattlesnake? I told Ed to leave it alone. You could say that rattlesnake with a little no, rattle. Well, I was at it with my yard stick and all of a sudden... And you know that they're handling it. it the proper way, but you know when you see a rattlesnake, you get a stick and you poke at it. <laughs> Where? Poke, poke, poke. It's in the bedroom. What they not up here? Don't no, poke Mrs. an angry I mean, lion with a stick that applies to rattlesnakes too. Oh, just don't poke arm, anything with a stick. Elbow. You're probably <laughs> good. But fortunately, he's doing much better today, and the doctors think he'll be well enough to go home in a day or so. I'm well enough to go home right now. No, you're not. In a day or so. If I don't stay here with him, so like, he'll walk right out that door. Bro, so, so this whole mystery thing takes place over the span of, like, what, can I do what two, three days, then? You're absolutely <laughs> Basically. Nothing. You just go get a horse from Tex. He's the head wrangler. Hey, yeah. And go riding to your heart's content. He's a head? Who's head do you to go ahead with the lookout <laughs> I planned for tonight. And the envelope. Have her take that envelope to Mary. Oh, good idea. There's an envelope in the roll top desk in the den marked Mary. If you could ride over to Mary Yazzie's and give it to her, we'd really appreciate it. Hmm. I love to. I know who that is. Is there an address on the envelope? <laughs> Dave will tell you how to get there. She's gonna have to get the key to the desk from him, too. Okay, so we got right. I the three people the on the ranch Dave are the Dave, oh, Shorty, Shorty, and Tex. Else I yeah. Want to tell you. I still like Bay Cowboy Bay Carl Bay better, Bay but Bay I mean, you know. Did you say <laughs> Phantom Horse? Yes. You see, last night we... Hello, Mr. Raleigh. Time for those tests. Someone draped uh -oh. a big sheet over a horse and Don't let it loose and it scared us all. Just, have fun. <laughs> just be sure to wear a hat and drink plenty of water. It's gonna be another hot one. Just Bye. be sure to wear a hat. No, wait, just tell me about <laughs> Everyone the... in these parts of town get really Damn angry when you don't wear a hat. <laughs> They'll attack you in the streets. <laughs> That girl's not wearing a hat! Get her! <laughs> what was I about to look at here? Nothing? I don't know. A whole bunch nothing. of nothing, apparently. <laughs> oh, there's a horse book there, right? Did the books disappear? Should not... Oh, oh here it is. Yeah. Alright, so this is just the basic care for a horse. Feed yeah. it and don't let it die. Put a muzzle on it when it back talks you. <laughs> we don't like any sassy horses in our stables. <laughs> and then here's the first book to care him for a horse. The other one was the second one. And it's filled with horse butts. <laughs> That's not now that the we've right read time. Horse. Must be broken. Oh. There must be a secret hidden inside of it. Everyone knows Ooh. if it's a broken clock. It's got secrets. It's a secret. Paint dries in record high. Record high. <laughs> record time due to record 
<laughs> the paint causes a record high. <laughs> <laughs> if you stand too close and sniff it for too long. <laughs> or you're like that grandpa that there's the picture of online who thought the paint was yogurt. <laughs> oh, I think I've already figured out what that clock is supposed to do. This is a time. Yeah, keyholes. Yeah. So I gotta refer back to that. Most hmm, as soon as we can get the thing to change the time on it, I guess. Mm, Francis Humber. Wonder who she was. I, I don't know. That's what I always do when visiting someone. I just like look at people's pictures of their family, and I'm like, I wonder who they were. Hmm. Who is this baby? <laughs> Why doesn't it look like anybody else's? <laughs> Yo, this baby looks a lot like the mailman. Yeah. And the husband looks over like, what? <laughs> hey, you must be Nancy. I'm the cook, Shorty Thurman. Welcome to Shadow Ranch. Come on over here and tell me about yourself. You have talked to the Raleigh's, right? Wait, I thought I was going to be sure able to I talk do. about myself. That changed really fast. That said something about a phantom horse. Do you know what she was talking about? Sure do. See, I was just about to crawl into bed See? last night. When all of a sudden, so you this golden horse comes go galloping up outside, it stops, and rears and crawls, like whinnying and snorting, then it just wheels bed. around and gallops off they into the night. It was dirt was good for me, so I just horse, you know, now it's a phantom. <laughs> well, then I couldn't go to sleep because I kept having to get up to pee in the middle of the night. <laughs> a phantom horse? Dirk Valentine was an outlaw around here back in the 1880s. Legend has it, he was in love with Francis Humber. She lived right here oh, on Shadow Ranch. No one cares. Unfortunately, her daddy was Got the sheriff. your ancient love stories? Alex, Romeo and Juliet. Because of him, Juliet, Valentine was romantic. captured and eventually hanged. Ever since, the ghost of his horse has been roaming the desert, cursing whoever sees him with bad luck. Wow. You don't really believe Not that, do you? Not the ghost of his lover, just his horse. <laughs> Ed Roth sees the horse, his horse what happens about him more two minutes later, life. he gets bit by a rattlesnake. You do the math. Hmm. Well, well better get going. I don't it's like, like there's math involved. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't like doing math anyway, so I'm just gonna ask. Do I have to do you multiplication talk to the or fractions? <laughs> I sure did. Do you Why think is Ed's everybody gonna be all right? asking? He'll be okay. Getting bit by a rattler's no picnic, but it sounds mm -hmm. like he's out of the woods. Shorty told me about the We're not in the woods, we're in the desert. <laughs> Did you see it too? It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Guess you're gonna be asking me a lot of questions, huh? I don't know. Why do you ask? The Raleigh said you were a detective. Amateur detective. It's just kind of a hobby. I'm gonna be honest with you, ma'am. We were short a couple hands to begin with, and now with the Raleigh's gone and everybody on edge over what happened last night, well, this is not a good time to be visiting Shadow Ranch, that's all. How do you think that rattlesnake wound up in the Raleigh's bedroom? Yeah. Probably crawled in through a mouse hole sometime during the day and took a nap. Night times when they're most active. Something the Raleigh's found out the hard way. Little bud, aren't Could you? somebody have put it there? Yes, it's that, possible. Um, person would have, have to know how to handle snakes, of course. My, my but then face if you work in the desert, that's one him. of the things that's good to know. And he looks pretty happy with himself about it. <laughs> The Raleigh's asked me to take something out to Mary Yazzie's, but it's in the den in the roll-top desk. Well, I don't know locked. who the fuck that they is. The <laughs> sure do. They gave me their key ring at the hospital. Great, thanks. To get to Mary's shop, just follow the trail that goes northeast out of the corral. Can't miss it. And I should probably warn you, she doesn't like the Raleigh's. With the trail we blaze, we go to I should Mary probably. Yazzie's. I should probably warn you, she don't like people who no, don't I wear hats. No idea. <laughs> Not really any of my business. So make sure that you get back to No work. matter what, See you later. wear a hat. <laughs> Wait, where am I going? Is it still gonna like lag when we go in the chicken coop? James really fixed this. Like this is going a lot faster, so I don't think that it necessarily will. What did he do? So for context, uh, we recorded the first episode of this a couple days ago, but the whole, all the footage was just it was unusable it was lagging nothing was keeping up with anything so that's now we're here again because her husband fixed it and i have no idea what he did so which one are you the nice one the raleigh said they were the one who doesn't have the eyes of a serial killer <laughs> i take it you're one of them 
And the one who doesn't whisper when she talks. I'm Nancy Drew. <laughs> My two friends haven't arrived yet. Why not? I actually believe in being direct, so I don't feel the need to whisper. Actually, that's a good question. I brought three horses in this morning. Hardly fair that's to keep nice. them tied up all day if nobody's gonna ride them. No. And you are? I'm the head wrangler. You want to ride? You come to me. You prove to oh, me what to do. Oh, driving outside. I have my window open, so you can hear no car noises from outside. Sorry about that in advance. Did you see the Phantom Horse last night? I saw something. Just what? I still ain't sure. Now, if you want to ride, listen up. First thing you're gonna do is never ride unless you're wearing a hat and gloves, and unless you got a full canteen of water. You can wear that. The horses hat also there. don't like people it's who don't Mrs. wear hats. So you don't have <laughs> to wear a hat. You don't have to wear a hat and gloves unless you you've got a full canteen of water. And you can get water. a canteen from sure. <laughs> then you So if I just don't have any of it, then I'm good. <laughs> no need to brush them. I do that when I bring them in. <laughs> Then you're gonna lead them to the mountain block in the corral and mount up. Then I'm gonna ask you some questions. You sure? You can't ride outside the corral Have a lot get of all the answers right. Then I'm gonna ask you some questions. Who are you? Where'd you come from? You? <laughs> nope. When you're done riding, you're gonna dismount, hook your horse up, take the saddle and bridle off like, and put them back where you got them. Hold it Always to your keep neck. your gloves with your saddle. <laughs> I need to blow my nose. Which horse would you like me to ride? The bay over there. Name's Bob. You, if you get yeah. off when you're on the trail, don't tie your reins to nothing. Just drop them. And barring an earthquake or something, old Bob will stay put. Mm, all right. May I go riding now? Nope. With the ride is gone, the ranch is real short-handed. Before you ride, you're gonna have to go see if Shorty's got any chores that need doing. Gotta get a canteen from him anyway. Yeah, I'm here on vacation. Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. No one just ever lets you chill. They're like, well, since you're here, might as well cook me dinner. <laughs> and bake me a pie. You Why can't don't you have dinner without a dessert? You don't want to make well, ice cream for Hello food. there. How about a thing? Might as well start juggling and put hello? on a show. Oh my god. <laughs> and George. Hi, Let me I'm do the thing. Ranch. Where are you? You're gonna guys? force me to do yeah. things and then interrupt me twelve times as I'm trying to do the things. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm not going to like this, am I? We're at the airport in Omaha, Nebraska. Our plane had to land here so they could fix some problem with the radio, and now they're saying <coughs> we should be on the ground for hours. Hours? You're kidding. Who knows what's really going on? Yeah, no one around here ever gives you a straight answer. So what's going on there? A lot. Last night, Uncle Ed and Aunt Bet found a rattlesnake in their room. Oh my gosh! Are they okay? Well, actually, it bit Uncle Ed. <gasps> He all right? He will be. Right now he's in the hospital. He'll probably be there for a day or two. Aunt Bet's staying with him. Oh my gosh. And apparently a phantom horse showed up at just about the same time as that snake. A phantom horse? Of all the times to get stranded in some stupid airport. Look, you just better keep us posted, Nancy Drew. That's all I gotta say. We're so bored. George just bought a book on 19th century clothing and accessories. George did? It's the only thing in the bookstore here that was halfway interesting. You know, so if you need to know anything I keep, that's even remotely I hear people talk a lot about, like, postponed no, okay. flights and to me. delayed so flights what and whatnot. Oh, we got laid over for, like, two and a half hours and blah, blah, blah. I've, no, I haven't that's flown, like, a super whole lot. Fancy. I've flown oh, maybe, like, four or five times. Actually, probably. If we're... <laughs> I mean, if we're talking about actual flights and not like individual back and forth trips, it's I flown probably closer to like eight or ten times, and I've only had a delayed flight once, and that's when there just happened to be a really bad thunderstorm rolling through, and I like got delayed for I think like hey there, an hour Nancy. and a half. Man, I wish the Raleigh's were here. Me too. It'll be nice to talk to them in person. I'm really looking forward to you and me sitting down and having a nice conversation. Especially with you all the weird cats stuff all in the middle of everything. I'm so busy getting all their chores done in addition to my own that I barely have time to talk to myself, let alone to you. You know, it's really Enough funny watching this through What's Skype up? because it like makes it lag and speed up in certain areas. So... <laughs> Tex said I should get a canteen from you and see if there are any chores you'd like me to do. Music to my ears. First thing you can do for me is go out to the garden and pick all the ripe vegetables. You know what ripe vegetables look like, don't you? 
You, better you know what a tomato good. looks like, Because if you don't pick you? vegetables that aren't ripe yet, I'll be real ticked. I'm going to beat you, you with a stick. You can put them in the vegetable basket that's hanging outside. I was going to say, I'm going to your thing. ass. Sometime today, I need you to build a cooking fire in the pit outside. I'll light it when I'm ready to start <laughs> cooking. And be sure to fill the bucket out there with water and leave it by the pit. These tomatoes you know, are right. just in case no, something not. catches on fire that isn't supposed to. The Raleigh's wanted to have a cookout tonight. You and by golly, we're going to have a cookout no matter who is or isn't here. Yes, Chloe. I don't know. Well, with with as much going. dirt Drop that's around, time. what on earth is gonna catch fire that ain't supposed to? Like, me and James have bonfires all the time. Yeah, but it's one of those things. Honestly, if they just moved it farther away from the house, they'd probably be fine. And honestly, if the fire just spreads, you can get something to kind of sweep it up. You know, like, you don't have to necessarily have water. You can kill it with, you know, something else. Oh, I gotta get my basket. Time to go do everyone's chores. Because... Is it like one of those situations where if you don't have the water bucket next to the bonfire, then the house will catch on fire? But if you don't, like, if you do have it, then nothing bad happens. <laughs> refer to web real quick and just make sure because those beans are always the confusing thing and I think he has you do it like every day and yeah which is kind of a suck <laughs> So we need the white beans, I think, the Romano. Because some are supposed to be like this, and others like that, so well, hang which, on. What kind of beans are that, though? It doesn't specify. That does. Okay, fine, I'll go back. Or you know what, let me grab my tablet and I'll Google it. What, what do beans look like? <laughs> Because this is the pole bean, a bush bean, and oh, the Romano is a bush and pole. So the ones in the middle are ripe and the ones on the right are overripe. So. Okay, so we want the not dry ones. So some are supposed to be dry and some are not. Yeah. It's hard for me to read. The pot on the left is underripe. Oh, black turtle. So the black turtles are the dried ones. So we're getting the Romano. And these ones here are not ripe yet because they're supposed to be dried beans. It's so hot, okay. I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Pick those Because everyone knows yet. when it's you hot betcha. and you're carrying veggies. Oh no, you got stuff in here that isn't ripe yet. Picking stuff before it's oh, wrapped whatever. is a waste of perfectly good food. Looks like so we gotta crucify again, you yeah. now. <laughs> now, second thing I need you to do for me is take this, go out to the chicken coop, and fill it up with eggs. Just be careful oh, of that fun. basket. It's kind of old. Let's go and see the And don't forget to build me that campfire like I asked. Gosh, okay. You got it. Like, let me do one thing before you start demanding ten more. I just got your damn no. vegetables. Haha, normal. <laughs> nice, it isn't lagging like crazy now. Oh, and then we gotta no. fix the basket. There's a What did you do, it. Nancy? <laughs> you put two eggs in there, they're not that heavy. Now we gotta be smart and oh, fix boy, puzzle time. We gotta puzzle the basket back together. I'll puzzle the basket back together. Padfoot. What is he doing now? He's being a whiny baby. Here. Stupid cat don't know when he's crowded. <laughs> you need to flip it. Alright, so that one goes there. That one does not go there. Goes there. And 
Who did such a poor job of putting it back together in the first place? Um, Shorty, maybe? Hmm. See, it's not so bad. We're not so bad. Yeah, the Blackmore Manor puzzles are worse. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's why I don't envy you, girl. Like, so don't get us wrong. We like Blackmore Manor. We think the story and overall, like, atmosphere is very cool. But the puzzles suck ass. <laughs> but it's They're one of so our favorite Nancy Drew okay. games. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Wait. <clears throat> I know it's getting stepped up. There. Am I good or what? Mm, I'm leaning more towards what? or what. <laughs> <coughs> Voila! Mm. <clears throat> now we don't have any eggs. Hooray. Is he gonna bitch us out? <laughs> It's not our fault. Ow, ow, oh, ow. No. Yikes! Maybe I'll come back when she's not in such a foul mood. Har har har, Nancy, you're hilarious! <laughs> Everyone here is laughing. <laughs> you just need to toughen up. Okay, Nancy. try leaving and coming back, waiting for the chicken to be gone. I don't think you have to get all of them. Yeah, you do. Uh, Otherwise, you'll be like, there's still more eggs out there, Nancy. Why are you such a colossal dumbass? I'm gonna roast you over fire <laughs> like a shish kebab. <laughs> hey, you sound like Shorty. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to attempt it. We gotta chop wood, right? Yes, we gotta. You do can that find too. more eggs than that. <laughs> I can? I told you. Really? You're a jerk. Go get attacked by a chicken. And then... Something goes here. My sadistic side will be a lot happier. Oh, great. Now, this has got to be a puzzle. Ugh. We're just going to go with Rats. that. I was this close. Really? That? How are you that stupid? <laughs> got to stand to the side. <clears throat> <clears throat> Gotta change the angle. Yeah, clearly. Straight down. It is straight down. Wait, no, to the side, yeah. Uh, <laughs> other side, other side. There we go. Why are you placing it so obscurely anyway? That's what I'm wanting to I think to this know. log needs to go in the very back. <laughs> that looks like a very back kind of log. Yeah, just call me Nancy Paul by Andrew. No, because you're back. <laughs> I can hear an airplane going off over there. That is, yeah, that is, that's my airplane, guys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I talked to my friends, Bess and George. Their plane's been delayed. They aren't sure when they're going to get here. Sorry to hear that. And that's Bess and well, George to right be now! Honest, I'm not, really. <laughs> Driving back and forth to the airport takes a lot of time, and time's one thing we're all running kind of short of around here. How long have you worked here? About as long as the Raleigh's have lived here. About three months, I guess. I was their first hire. First me, then Tex, then Shorty. Tex seems a little ornery. He does his job and he does it good. As far as I'm concerned, that's all that's important. How did you get back to job. Work? Take care. Uh, watching them horses of staring at the same saddle all day, every day. 
No one knows what he does. It's a mystery. <laughs> at the end of the veggies not yet all right now i did eggs for me no problem good for you anything i, I can do for you now them out very do you think easily. i can get a <laughs> of water from you got one right here you're good to go well i better get going come back soon you gotta do your chores before you're allowed to drink any water <laughs> apologies that i keep blowing my nose my nose gets stuffed up when I talk I something to put the fire out. Mm, yes, because it Take ah. the sink with you. <laughs> no, because Chloe. This sink is on fire and she needs something to put the fire out. <laughs> <laughs> but I get the water from the sink! What a conundrum! Even though you just turn on the faucet. <laughs> this is I feel like I should be finding something here. I feel like that might be later. Maybe. Oh, nope. Wonder who wrote this? A secret note! That fire Let me trigger. Take something oh, goes I'm gonna take a picture of it. Gosh. Not yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to start with Tinder. Hold the note. Okay, second. What? Okay. You're good. Okay. I need to start with Tinder. This is Tinder. She's trying to find a, a hookup. <laughs> she needs to look on Tinder. <laughs> I'm a cowgirl now, guys. Sounds like a plan. Sorry, I was making the notes. <laughs> We're gonna end this episode here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what we do, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment, maybe, if you're feeling like it. If you want to say, hey, that was funny, or you guys suck, I don't like it. <laughs> then, you know, any publicity is good publicity, I guess. <laughs> you guys have a good day. Bye. Bye.